Hello, I'm Dr. Charlie Clutterbuck and I am passionate about soil animals. And one of the reasons I'm passionate about soil animals is that they are absolutely crucial in maintaining plant health. They evolve with plants and they keep plants healthy. I am a soil zoologist, which means I study the creatures, not the worms, the little ones between worms and fungi. And these are mainly things called springtails, and my favourite creatures, the oribatid mites. And everybody just tends to a, ignore them, you know, have you seen a springtail or an oribatid mite? No. But what I'm really trying to get at is trying to separate out the roles of each of these creatures, because everybody thinks, oh, they somehow break down the debris and somehow life comes back. What I'm trying to do is show that there's two sorts of soil animals. There's the ones which are looking after the roots of trees and they kind of nibble away at the roots, cleaning them all the time, but also accidentally bringing fungal spores to the roots where the fungus gets into the roots and it expands and they're called mycorrhiza and the path that people that study these things know that. And that, those, that fungi uses the sugars from the roots to, for itself but brings in the nutrients from the soil to feed the roots. So that's an important function in itself. So there's one group of creatures doing that. The other lot are looking after the leaves which fall from the trees in, in the autumn. These are mainly oribatid mites, but also um, the worms. The worms sort of pull them into the ground, build the channels, and then the, the oribatids use the channels to go down and they will actually nibble the leaves break them down and their poo, if you like, becomes the nutrient which the springtails and the fungi pick up and feed back to the roots. And I think it's a fabulous story and we should be, you know, shouting it to the world that this, this is how our earth was created, that we, they, the animals and the trees co-evolved about 400 million years ago. Before that it was just rock, silt and sludge you know, span off. Now we call it the Earth. We characterise our planet by this soil and yet few people seem to understand that the soil animals and the trees evolved together about 400 million years ago.